La 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 do do do. Curly is in the park. Magic in the city. Over the rainbow at the end of the street is Jubilee Park where the fairies meet. Away from traffic in the neon scene, doing the magic, keeping it green. Fairies, elves, goblins too. You can't see us, but we see you. So watch your step with your person feet. Over the rainbow at the end of the street. Now twinkle, now sparkle, now glimmer, glimmer, shine. Swing your wings. Ring a ding. Magic in the city. Jasper, the annual Spring Ding Carnival, Tick, Dragonfly Rally, that was so fun, <laughs> Dewdrop Awareness Week, Tick, and today, <gasps> a space, an actual space. Don't fight it, Pearly. A day off is sweet like a rose petal muffin. You want one? I've forgotten tonight's the last full moon of summer. The moths fly south for winter at midnight. Jubilee Park always sends them off with a party. Oh, yeah. The full moon mothball. How could I forget? Oh, I should have stayed home. Quite the party. Just because they're moths, it doesn't mean they can't have their own special night. Remember, inside every dear old moth, there's a party animal just waiting to get out. Don't you mean that uh, inside every boring moth, there's an even more boring grub? I don't want the news to get back to fairy headquarters that Jubilee Park is actually downtown Dullsville, place where nothing ever happens. <laughs> we've got a lot to do to get this party happening. Hi, Malcolm. Hi, Opal. Here's your invites to the annual Moth Ball. Actually, Pearly, they were trying to get away early, but unfortunately, their map's a bit moth-eaten. <coughs> oh, late night snack. Couldn't resist. So, while your map is being repaired, it's a chance to give you a great send-off. Uh, we did our goodbyes already. We went to Ron's porch light and threw a few socks on the grill. So, uh, how do you like your sock? Uh, well done or slightly charred? I don't mind. You decide. Oh, Malcolm. That's no way to celebrate. You moths need to party. Let your wings down. Don't forget to RSVP. Oh, not the ball. Oh. Knock it off, Bat Red. You're ruining my hair. Oh, no, 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 Miss Sapphira. Quite the contrary. Why, your hair is like a black cloud. Yes, in a wild and stormy... Oh! <sighs> Ludwig, see what the happy, perfect fairy wants. Uh, full moon mothball. Dress brown is fine. What? The mothball? Is it that time of the year so soon? Moths, yummy. Maybe to you, but for the rest of us, they're dreary. And their boring ball is a blight of a night. Oh, mistress, if only you were in charge of this park, huh? We'd have some real entertainment. Oh, like a moss BBQ. Nice. But first, I need to get Pearly fired. And I know just the trick. Get her party noticed by persons. Where is it again? Uh. <laughs> Park Rotunda. Nice place for a shh bug spray incident. <laughs> but moths are so quiet, persons won't notice it. Not just moths. I was thinking of inviting some butterflies. Oh, no. You can't mix moths and butterflies. No. Butterflies party all the day, and the moths stay up all night. They have had a grudge for years. They will be at each other fighting and... Oh, 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 you are wonderfully terrible. I love it. Hmm. Alert, Gobsmack. 
he will want to be a part of this delicious plan. With any luck, they'll tear each other wing from wing. <laughs> I know you're all so super excited about tonight's mothball that you've forgotten to RSVP. Aww. Guys, where's the enthusiasm? Malcolm, I'll hire a band. <laughs> I'll order a cake. It'll be huge and pink. Prefer a gray sock myself. Easier on the digestion. Opal, what's wrong with them? Why don't they want to come? Well, you remember what happened last party? Come on, Malcolm, show me your dance moves. Wonderful. If you want a real mothball, you gotta do it their way. Gotcha. <gasps> Whoa! Crikey. Wonderful, the caterers have arrived. If I didn't know better, I'd say that looks like Ron's porch light. Thanks, Opal. That means a lot. Cool. Wait until the sun goes down and we turn on the mirror ball. They'll go crazy. No, no, no. We're not going to turn it on this year. This ball is just for decoration. Oh, <sighs> gobsmack. What an honor to have a representative from fairy headquarters drop by. As you can see, the fairy council needn't worry. Jubilee Park is ready to party like it always does. <sighs> oh, really? Is that so? Do you have all your health and safety permits, your no-fly zone, your three-phase fairy power? All here. Well, everything does seem to be in order. Ooh, nice and quiet in here. This is my kind of party. Did Ron do the decorations? Come in, Moth. Enjoy a nibble. Don't mind if I do. Later, dudes. Slight problem indeed. My guests are all dressed up, ready to party. Let them in. You can come in, Sapphira. You look gorgeous. Uh, as for everybody else, moths, yummy. Not so fast, matey. This is a mothball. It's strictly no. That's allowed. Save your snacking. There'll be plenty of moths on the menu later. Goodbye. Hmm, who asked them? I thought this was a moth ball. I'm sure they'll go home soon. They always get sleepy at dusk. Have a sock. They're pure cashmere. Mm. Do have a cup of nectar. It's extra sugary. But you better not have too much or you'll be up all night. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pearly, you know with any outdoor event, the risk of detection by persons is extremely high, okay? So the noise must be kept at a minimum. I promise, Gobsmack. Well, I hope so, because there was that rather awful matter at the bee bar mitzvah over at City Park. Yeah, things got a little noisy and then fizz. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'll keep the noise down. There's going to be no human spraying here tonight. Well, by the power invested in me, I've determined that the moths must uh, vacate the premises by midnight. Sure, that's when they're flying south anyway. So, oh, hot peanuts, continue! Oh, divine wings! If you could just keep the noise down. Person should be here any moment with their bug spray gobsmack. Here. Have a nose pinch. Brilliant. With Pearly gone and you and I in charge, the first thing we should do is foreclose on the flowers. And you know what the second thing we do is we affect the dragonflies and set those pesky little lady beetles on their spotty way. Really? Yes, I hate spots. Then, Sapphira, dearest, the park would be our own private garden. We could charge everyone who walks through. Oh, and we'd jack it up to double on Sundays. Oh, Sapphira, we'd be rich. So. <laughs> I'll do the thinking round here. Jasper, where have you been? Just catching a few zeds. Big problems. Moths and butterflies. What? They'll tear each other wing from wing. You'd better get in there and see if you can help Pearly keep the noise down. I'll keep an eye out for persons and the other on this character. Must not eat guests. Must not eat guests. Must not eat guests. <laughs> We should play a game of statues? Okay then, freeze! Mm. 
I'll take care of this. You find out how to switch on the mirror ball. Time to crank up the party. Roots and twigs! Stone the crows! Persons! Must not eat death! <gasps> those insects are making. Bug spray will sort them. Ah, yuck, it's bats. Forget it. You did it! Well done, everyone. Yay! I really like the way you move back there. Hi, <laughs> Pearly, what a rip party. Moths and butterflies at one with the universe. Cool. Goodbye, Malcolm. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you, Pearly. <gasps> this is Heather. She's coming along to show us the way. <laughs> oh, I'm still so hungry. Ow! Okay, flapping, flapping. Teddy Bear's picnic. Every single bear went home with its person. Well, nearly everyone. Spread out, team. Search and rescue. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> to the duck pond, on the double. Oh. No, my wand is nearly out of fizzle. Opal, we need your lasso. Pull <laughs> Hey, Barney, there's your teddy down by the pond. <sighs> wow, Pearly, great job. Nice to see someone doing good things in the park. Unlike that nasty pixie, Mo. Mo? He's the pixie who's been cutting heads off daisies all over Fairyland. Oh, he's a nasty looking brute with those beady little eyes. Thanks for the tip. We'll be sure to warn the daisies in Jubilee Park. Smile. <laughs> Something wrong, most beautiful queen of darkness? <laughs> I thought it would have pleased you to read about Zamo. Not that. This! Just for once, I'd like to open the paper and not be greeted by my goody gumdrop's cousin Pearly and her perfectly pearly smile. Her hair is so flawless. How does she do it? Who reads this rubbish? Oh, oh. <laughs> my fault, my fault. <laughs> Hmm, moon ray hair conditioner and glow worm toothpaste, says here on page three. <laughs> oh, perhaps, mistress, I could run to the store and just do it. <laughs> Ouch, my fault. <laughs> <sighs> Struth, Ruth, I'm wiped. Let's take a break. Totally, I am so willing for some chilling. <sighs> la, 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 do, do, do. Right -o, team. Lots to do, so let's get up and at them. Hello. What happened to the nice work team? Pat on the wings. Nice cup of dandelion tea to celebrate a good job done. Oh, yes. Good job. But what we really need to do is to set up for the Lady Beetle Table Tennis Championship, check the flotation devices on the lily pads, then, Jasper, we need to speak to the daisies. They're worried about the nasty pixie mo. Dude, can't you just stop and smell the roses? Excellent idea, Jasper. Let me just pencil that in. Stop and smell roses, 3.30 p.m. this afternoon. Are you free then, Opal? Ah! Is Opal mad at me? Look, all we need is some chilling time and we'll be back on the job. Chilling time? Hey, hey, I have an idea. I'll be back. 
I'm sorry, my little elf friend. My spa is very private with a very select clientele. Come on, just this once? You could give Opal some kind of wing treatment thing I would. Do some hair styling. Hair styling? Yes. On Pearly, perhaps. Do you think she'd let me give her an extra special do? Whoa, no, 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 no. No one touches Pearlie's hair. She's very particular about it. Really? Of course. Well, Jasper, I've made up my mind. Yes, you can come to see me. Why, this very afternoon. Oh, sweet. Fire up the spa, Ludwig. Sharpen the snip snaps. Heat the wax for fairy stubble. And alert the press. Pearlie's in for the trim of her life. An afternoon in Sapphira's spa? I don't know. Sounds a bit girly. I'm up for chillin'. We deserve a break. Yep. I'm gonna have a manicure. Maybe you could have a wing polish opal? Oh, I could put my feet up, I suppose. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna get my dread style. Hairylicious. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you're going to cut Pearlie's hair, so you have to hold the comb this way uh, and the snip snaps that way. Oh. Uh. oh! I can't do it, mistress. I'm left clawed. <laughs> oh, could Pearlie hang upside down for her haircut? Let me see. No, you're fired. Now who am I going to get to do it? Uh, someone with a thumb, perhaps? <laughs> or you could do it. Me? With these nails? Hardly. Gobsmack, my favorite fairy inspector. What do you want? I'm busy. Oh, it's Sapphira, my sweet. Um, <clears throat> guess who just caught the most dangerous criminal in all fairyland? You mean Mo, the daisy-cutting pixie? You caught him? Indeedy, I did. Yes. It's an interesting story. I'd been tracking the scoundrel relentlessly for what seemed weeks on end. <laughs> Oh! Help! Help! It was incredibly difficult. It was. And those snip snaps, I'll tell you, they're positively lethal. I will make the front page of the morning myth for sure. I posit it. <laughs> oh! Yes! Look, Gobsmack, the press are on their way to take a photo. Have a facial while you wait. It's on the house. Believe me, you need it. Really? Okay, thanks very much. I haven't been sleeping. Would you keep an eye on Mo for me? Don't worry. I'll keep him busy. Nice. I've got a vacancy for a part-time hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> Burning. Look at you! Who's a pretty poison, huh? Just no denying it! Now, Mo, here are your precious uh, snip snaps. Jimmy! I'm sure you're very keen to get them back. And you will, my little pixie friend, just as soon as you do one itsy bitsy thing for me. Oh, Mo can do. Excellent. <laughs> Now we have to choose a nail polish. Pink glitter for you, I think. Perfect. And for you, Opal? Ah, uh, hmm, let me see. Snake skin? Just what I had in mind. I'm loving this chillin' thing. I'm having a ripper time, too. <laughs> Ew, how charming. Now, dear Pearlie, it's time to move into the hairdressing salon for your haircut. A haircut? Oh, I don't think... But I've engaged one of the most famous hairstylists in Fairyland. Epic hairstylist? Cool. Lead on, my lady. Uh-huh, yeah. So you've heard the big news? Yeah. I've got that nasty pixie mo tied up right over... There. Are you wearing lip gloss? I'd like you to meet Mo. I, I mean, Monsieur Snip. <laughs> yes, that's right, Monsieur Snip. Hi, Monsieur Snip. Say, you do look familiar. Have we met?
met somewhere before? He's awfully famous. And he's here as my guest to treat you to some cutting-edge styles. <laughs> <laughs> and I do mean cutting-edge. <laughs> How do you do? Bonjour! Oh, that must be the media now. They follow Monsieur Snip everywhere he goes. Who's for a tram? A little snippity snip here and there? Oh, no, thank you. I was thinking of maybe just some sparkle spray and a curling wand. Yeah, me too. Just a dab of sparkle goo, and I'm good to go. Oh, excuse me, your hair, mon ami. It's so tres, tres thick and long. <laughs> I know, man. My dreads rock. <laughs> What is it this time? It's Mo! He's escaped! I have no idea what or indeed who you are talking about. Welcome! You must be here from the Morning Myth, my favorite journal. I, I, but I did have them. I swear. Thanks for the tip-off, Sapphira. What's going down? Something truly, truly memorable. And now he just, he disappeared. I kind of... Like a mirage. Get your camera ready. You'll definitely want to put this on the front page. Opal, there's something very familiar about that Monsieur... Uh, whatever his name is. Safara reckons he's famous. Maybe you've seen his picture in the newspaper. That's it? I've seen those beady eyes in the paper, uh, but not in the social pages. In the headlines, Monsieur is Mo. The pixie who's always cutting the heads off flowers. What's he want with Jasper? <laughs> Oh, no! He's cut off Jasper's hair! <laughs> Come on, you hairy elf! You've enough fur for two! <laughs> Let me at that haystack! Oh, no way, man! Don't touch my dreads! I need my dreads! I love my dreads! <laughs> Good work, Opal! Oh, I want a head with hair! Everybody now, give me long, beautiful After him! <laughs> well done. Congrats on capturing Mo. Can we get a picture of the team? Not just us. We couldn't have done it without my dear cousin Sapphira. <sighs> Nice photo of us. Except Sapphira. She looks like she's been dragged through the bush backwards. Yes. I'll have to have a little word with her about her hair. I'll arrange a meeting, book an appointment, assemble some color style references. <sighs> right after I smell the roses. <laughs>